Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Biology with Zhang Xuan. So today we are going to do the Cambridge ITCSC 0610 slash 21 May June 2023 Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended. So we are the link of this paper will be in the description box below. So make sure you check it out and let's start solving this paper. Let's go. Okay, question one. What are the characteristics of all organisms? So the answer is C, excretion and nutrition, because it's the only two that is part of the Mrs. Grant. Okay. Okay, part two. The scientific name for a golden eagle is Aquila chrysatos. What is the genus of the golden eagle? So the genus is usually the capital letter of this one. So it would be Aquila. Okay, part question 3. Which row shows structures that are present in both root hair cells and palisade mesophyll cell? So there is a cell wall, but root hair cells have no chloroplasts. So but they have a cytoplasm and a vacuole. So the answer is C. Okay. Question 4. The photomicrograph shows a plant cell. The length of line XY is 90 mm. The actual length of the cell is 30 micrometer. What is the magnification of the mic photomicrograph? So basically 90 mm, I have to change it to um, micrometer, will be 90,000. So using the formula I over A over M, so it will be 90,000 divided by uh, 30 I will get 3000 3000 B okay question 5 the diagram shows an experiment demonstrating osmosis using a dialysis tubing bag okay after 30 minutes the level of the liquid goes up because the water had a higher water potential than the sugar solution. So you know that sugar solution is inside, right? That is a lower water potential. And water has a higher water potential. So it goes in, therefore, make, making the glass tube increasing. Therefore, the water ha has a higher water potential than the sugar solution. The answer is D. Question 6. The diagram shows um, the movement of glucose molecules across the cell membrane. Which statement describes molecule T? So it is not a fat molecule, not a fat molecule. Uh, it's a protein molecule used to not down the concentration gradient, it is against the concentration gradient. So the answer is D. Question 7. The diagram shows part of a protein molecule. What does X represent? Amino acids. Okay, question 8. It's the structure of DNA involves two strands called together to form a double helix. Which pairing of bases between the two strands is correct? A and T. Okay, question 9. Which is true for all enzymes? They are not sugars and they are not most effective at pH 7 because there are some um, enzymes like pepsin, trypsin, they are in acidic and alkali conditions. So, they are both not correct. Question 10. Which statement about human enzymes is correct when they are at temperature above 80 degrees? So this is above the denatured temperature already. So question 10, the answer will be A. The enzyme molecules are denatured. Okay, question 11. An experiment is set up to investigate gas exchange in aquatic plants. The hydrogen carbonate indicator is started with orange at the start. What Which color is it after 3 hours? So, okay. So you see this light, okay, and then the aquatic plant. So I always remember my P M Roy. So we are now at orange. So the hydrogen carbon indicator shows that it's at the start. Which color is it after three hours? So after three hours, there will be lesser carbon dioxide because the plants are photosynthesizing, therefore there will be more O2 and lesser CO2, therefore the color will change to purple. Because purple is the lowest CO2 concentration and yellow is the highest CO2 concentration. Okay, question 12. Certain factors are needed for photosynthesis. If factors is in short supply, 
the it limits the rate of photosynthesis. Which of these could be limiting factors? So oxygen will never be a limiting factor. It will be carbon dioxide and light intensity. So the answer is B. Question 13. The hemoglobin concentration in the blood of a person is 80 gram per dm cube. The accepted normal concentration is 120 grams per, uh, per dm cube or above. Which substance may be lacking in their diet? So the answer will be D, D because iron produces hemoglobin. So calcium is, is for growth and stronger bones, fats is for insulation and fiber is for uh, preventing constipation. Question 40. Which statement about physical digestion is correct? So physical digestion is by mouth, by chewing and using the teeth to increase the surface area of the food. Okay. Question 15. Which statement describes the effect of atmospheric humidity on the rate of transpiration? So okay. in high humidity, the transpiration rate is high. No. High humidity means lower transpiration rate. Okay, in high humidity, the transpiration rate is low because there's a rapid diffusion of water. No, it can never be this. Okay, question C. In low humidity, the transpiration rate is high because there's a rapid diffusion of water through the somata. Because when there's low, right, it cannot have fast diffusion. But when it's high, it can have faster diffusion of water. So the answer is C. For D, it will be low because low humidity is not low transpiration rate. It should be high rate of transpiration. Okay, question 16. Sucrose and amino acids move around the plant from source to sink. Which row shows the sources and sink? So the answer would be A. Because palisade mesophyll cell produces the glucose and is then converted to sucrose. So it, has, it acts as a source. So the amino acids and the sucrose are actually going down to the root hair cell, to the, which is a sink. But at the same time, the root cortex cell, right? You can also makes sense in the root hair cell that it can also be a source during winter times where when the plant does not produce anything the root cortex the root cortex cell will release this sucrose to maintain the plant okay question 17 which statement describes how the structures in the circularity system function so the answer for this one will be b because of why is it one two four because of muscular pump push blood into vessels correct and valves to ensure one-way blood flow, vein to take blood. No, it's not. It should be towards the heart and vessels to return the blood to the heart. Correct. All right. So question 18, the diagram shows a section to the heart. Which part is the septum? So septum is in the center, which is C. Okay, which separates the left side and the right side of the heart. Question 19, the cholera bacterium toxin causes dehydration and loss of salts from the blood in humans. Which statement explains the reason for this? So let's read for every answer, yeah? Chloride ions are secreted into the small intestine where they increase the water potential. No, they are not. They actually decrease the water potential. Chloride ions are secreted into the small intestine which causes water to move into the intestine by osmosis. Maybe, correct? Chloride ions are secreted into the small intestine which causes water to move out of the intestine, no, it doesn't move out, it should be moving in. Chloride ions are secreted into the small intestine, which causes the water potential of the blood to decrease. No, they will never decrease the potential in the blood. Okay, so the answer will be B. Question 20. So during inspiration, the processes listed take place. What is the correct sequence for these processes? So the answer for this one is B. So Let's see why it's B. So every time you start, uh, whether it's inspiration or expiration, start off with mentioning the muscles first. So the muscles will contract first, then the diaphragm will be the second one, then will be the volume of the thorax increasing as because you are breathing in, then the pressure will become next, and lastly will be the uh, air will be entering into the lungs. Okay, question 21. In the chemical equation for anaerobic respiration of yeast, the number has been replaced by the letters W, X, Y, and Z. So which number is Z? Okay, so a bit of, uh, it's a tricky question, this one. So, so C6, H12O6, okay. Since it's um, yeast, it will release ethanol, so it's 2 c 2 H five O H plus two C O two. So the answer for Z is five. Okay. 
Question 22. A student measured their oxygen consumption before, during and after exercise. The results are shown in their graph. Okay, At which time is the oxygen that is being removed? So it's between 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, Because there is still oxygen consumption in. So when you keep on breathing, right, you are actually dealing with the oxygen depth. So here is already the resting period. So it's at rest. So it should be between this period and this period. Okay. Question 23. Which row shows where glucose will be found in a healthy body of a human after eating a meal? Okay. They're basically asking where is the glucose found? So it will be found, okay, renal means kidney, yeah? Okay, do not renal is the kidney, and then glomerulus nephron and ureter is all, yeah, under inside the, all the filtration, all the system. So, okay, there will be glucose in the renal artery. So, yes, 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 this will be rejected already. Renal vein, there will be also. So, this will be out. Okay, glomerulus, there will be, um, uh, glucose found, this will be no, out, and then nephron, yes, ureter, no, because if your glucose comes out through the urine, it shows that you have diabetes, so the answer is C. Question 24, the events listed involve neurotransmitter molecules at the synapse. What is the sequence of events that occurs when an impulse arrives at the synapse? So, this will be D. Why? Because first thing, they are released from the vesicles, which they give the neurotransmitters. Then they will enter the synaptic gap or the synaptic cleft, if you know. And then it will diffuse across it and then bind with the receptor proteins. Okay. Question 25. What occurs during accumulation to focus on distant object? Distant object means far objects. So question 25, the answer will be B because when you look at closer, the ciliary muscle will only contract. So how, so since it's far, you the ciliary muscles will relax, the lens will be thinner and the suspensory ligaments will be tightened. Okay. Question 26, what is the correct statement about oxygen in shoots? So question 26, the answer is it stimulates cell elongation. It's not made on the shaded side, it should be made at the tip of the shoot. Okay, it is more concentrated on the shoot that we see. No, it doesn't. It is usually at the shaded side. It should be at the shaded side. And it moves through the shoot by osmosis. No, it should be by diffusion. Okay, the answer is D. Question 27. What is the correct statement about antibiotics? So, antibiotics are cannot treat virus. So, C and D will be out. Bacteria may become resistant to antibiotics as a result of artificial selection. No, nope. artificial selection has to be from humans. So the answer is B. Okay. Question 28. Potatoes are stem tubers. A tuber can be placed in the ground to grow into another plant, which can grow many more tubers. The deployed number of the potato plant is 24. So, so since deployed is 24, haploid will be 12. You have to do up by two so 12 how many chromosomes there will be in the cells of the stem the leaf and the pollen so the stem and the leaf are basically organs really so they are basically part of the plant so they have to be the same chromosome however pollen is a gamete which is a kind of like kind of like the sperm cell we have in ours so they have to be a haploid so the answer will be 24 24 12 the answer is a Question 29, which rule about a sexual reproduction is correct? So a sexual reproduction is just within the plant itself. So it requires one parent and this will be wrong. So this both will be wrong already. Offspring are identical parents. Yes, it is. And it's identical to each other. No, no. This may be correct, but it's out. No, 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 no. Okay, so the answer is only B. Question 29, the answer is B. Question 30. The statements describe how protein is made protein synthesis again. So first thing, okay, the gene coding is reproduced if, uh, for the proteins copied in the nucleus. Then the mRNA will cap carry it to the cytoplasm. Then it moves through to the ribosome, passes through the ribosome. Then only it reaches here. So the answer is donkey. Question 31. Which parents could produce an offspring with a blood group O? So... When you see uh, how you're going to produce a child with blood group O, right? So it has to usually to be a heterozygous. So if I put AO and this is BO, 
for homozygous homozygous is usually not possible okay so let's remove those that has um okay we try to do the pullet square so that it makes sense so it'll be a b a o b o and o o so this might can heterozygous uh, of a o and blood group b which is a b a b b o b o so this one cannot uh if it's a homozygous father of group a which is a a and heterozygous mom of b o will be a b a o a b and a o which is not possible the answer is a okay question 32 diagram shows the inheritance of the albinism in one family albinism is an inherited condition caused by recessive allele so this is a pedigree diagram yeah so which individuals must be heterozygous for this condition so heterozygous yeah so since this has been affected so this has got to be heterozygous ready so the answer is five six and seven okay so it's all hidden so it's basically something like uh a a and a a so when they bind you can get a a a a you can get a a a a then a a and a a so here is the 25 percent chance that's why five and six is in and seven will be the next one so the answer is c question 33 which term is a genetic change c mutation question 34 which adapted the adaptation may be present in a xerophyte which lives in the desert yeah so what's the answer for this will be question 34 will be c so it has stomata hair and row leaves it has to be have a um leaves with a small surface and they don't want to have too many stomata as they can lose water they do not need xylem uh, they need xylem tissue so that they can transport water they need stomata hairs and row leaves to prevent loss of water they need they do not need um a thin cuticle as they still will lose water okay question 35 the diagram shows energy flow from the sun through a food chain into the environment what is the form of energy for each numbered arrow so from one will be of course um light energy and what is continued to be passed on will be chemical so the answer is c 35 c Question 36. A few yeast cells were placed in the continent of a nutrient solution. The graph shows how their population size changed over time. Which row shows the when the reproduction rate was greater than the death rate for the number of phases in the graph? So it will be 1 and 2 and not 3 and 4. So the answer would be B. Okay, Because this is equal already where birth is equal to death and this will be more death is more than birth. So these two phases has more birth then death phases okay question 37 the number of atlantic bluefin tuna fish found in the atlantic ocean has significantly decreased in the last 15 years which method will make the biggest improvement in the conservation of tuna fish stock so of course the method to improve is by introducing fishing quota is to prevent overfishing okay prevent overfishing okay question 38 Ah, this is a passive paper question. The blood worm is an organism that is found heavily polluted water. Diagram shows where raw sewage flows into a river. Where would there be the fewest blood worms? So the answer for this would be A. Why? Because you can see, right? This is a raw sewage. It will be usually be dirty and there could possibly be blood worms. So when blood worm in, right? It only B will detect, A won't detect because the river flow is going this direction. So A is before the raw sewage, therefore it has the fewest blood worms. Okay, question 39. The diagram shows a bacterial cell. Which part of the cell is useful for genetic modification? Plasmid. So the plasmid is D. Last question, question 40. Which statement about genetic modification is correct? So the answer for this will be it produces a new combination of genes. It does not choose which or, or in this is artificial selection. It always done if not from the same species. It produces exact copies of it. No, it doesn't. So the answer is produces a new combination of genes. Okay, so that's all for this multiple choice question paper. So if you have any questions, please make sure you uh, write down in the comments below so I can help you. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.